Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if Windows cannot find the gpedit.msc on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And it says that Windows cannot find gpedit.msc. Make sure you've typed the name in correctly and then try again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in W-I-N-V-E-R. Go ahead and hit enter to run that. So if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition, you are not going to have the Group Policy Editor built into it. So you're going to have to look up a different tutorial about how to go ahead and enable or download the Group Policy Editor for Windows 10 or Windows 11. And I do have a tutorial on my channel for that. So you can pretty much end the tutorial right there if it says Home after Windows 10 or Windows 11. So if it says Home Edition, do not proceed further. You're going to have to go ahead and actually get that. Pretty straightforward on that. Something else we can try here as well, if you are running Windows 10 or 11, professional enterprise education server or whatever higher edition equivalency. And we're going to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.